What if I told you, you can make candy at home? <gasps> it's gonna be better than any store-bought candy that you've ever had in your entire lifetime. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make tamarind jelly candy using my favorite ingredient, tamarind. It's equal parts sweet, tangy, and savory, and it's gonna be the base for this jelly candy, and it's gonna blow your minds. Get your sauce pots because we are going to candy it up. Tamarind is one of those ingredients that is one of the most beautiful things that I have ever been able to grow up around. They have trees that are almost 60 feet high and I would grab rocks and I would throw them at the tree to hopefully get some tamarind out of it. Sometimes the rock would just fall on my head though. But today we're not gonna use this as our base. So we're actually gonna use frozen tamarind which is a lot easier to work with. Frozen tamarind. It's one of the best ingredients that you will have in your kitchen. I think that it is the baseline for so many cool techniques and applications. First, you're gonna need some sugar. We're gonna get our tamarind puree that is now defrosted. And then you're gonna get your lime juice. And this is gonna help reinforce that acidity in the tamarind. We're gonna give this a little stir before we turn on our heat to make sure that that tamarind gets well acquainted with our sugar. It helps to prevent burning and it helps to reduce the crystallization that might occur in this stage. For me, tamarind is one of those ingredients that is equal parts sweet and savory, a little sour. It's like my shirt. We have our little angel here, our sweet, and our little devil here, our sour. That's gonna make this candy perfectly balanced. So now that we have our main base of ingredients in the pot, we're gonna bring this up to a boil. Five minutes of boiling in total, then we're gonna add our butter and boil some more. So Misu, I heard the tamarind candy is your favorite candy. Can you tell us why? <coughs> hmm, I, yeah, I agree. So our tamarind syrup is now boiling and I'm gonna use a digital thermometer to check my temperature. 220 is the temperature that we're looking for. We're gonna put this to the side and we're going to add our butter now. And just let it melt before we turn our heat back up. The butter and the tamarind syrup are gonna get together in this pot and boil for five minutes and then we're gonna add our pectin. I've turned off my heat. It's boiled for a good five minutes and I'm gonna add my pectin. This pectin is a liquid pectin. You can try to use uh, dry pectin, but if you can find liquid pectin, it would be so much better. This pectin is gonna help us jellify our candy and it's gonna make it super, super firm and awesome. So now we're gonna turn on our heat. So we're gonna stir this for one minute, one minute, and you're gonna see that this mixture is gonna tighten up. Misu, you wanna help me stir? So now that our jelly candy is in full boil, I have reached the temperature that I need to cook it to. And you can see when you scrape the sides of the bowl that our candy has already started to gel. We're gonna grab our prepared container and pour it in that and it's going to sit overnight. <gasps> but Paula, I wanna eat candy now. Well. Good things come to those who wait, so we have to wait overnight for our candy to really relax and get to the stage that it needs to be at. So we're going to pour it in, and now we wait. So now this guy has sat overnight, I went to sleep in the same clothes, and here we are. I'm just kidding. Now you can see that our tamarind jelly candy is firm and ready to be cut into our squares or the shape of your choosing. Before we cut our tamarind candy, we're gonna make sure that she is dressed for the occasion. So we're going to make sugars to roll our candy in. So I'm gonna show you how to make the sour and sweet mixture of your dreams. So we're gonna take our little spoon, and we're gonna take a little bit of Citric acid. Now, citric acid is one of those things that will burn your mouth if you eat it alone. So don't. No. No, it's not good. It's not good. But 
and sugar. It's really good. So we're gonna take our citric acid and we're going to pour it in and just mix it all up. Give it a generous little woo woo woo. And then we're gonna take a little bit and just try it. I think it needs more citric acid. So I'm gonna pour this into my dish and I don't need this anymore for now. You're probably wondering, why do I have all these cute little freeze dried fruit in front of me? Well, I'm gonna make a game changer and I'm gonna show you how to make fruit flavored sugar to coat your jelly candy. So I have mango, strawberry, and banana. So I'm gonna show you a technique that doesn't require a lot of tools and it doesn't require all this hubbub. A zip top bag, you're gonna try to fill it with just enough freeze dried fruit so that it closes nicely. And we're gonna put it on our flat surface. And we're gonna take our rolling pin and give it a good smush. You can just roll it out. And now you have delicious fruit powder. I'm gonna put this guy to the side and now I'm gonna make fruit sugar. That was quick. Misa, did you do that? Oh my gosh, that's so much oh, better than having to crush everything one by one. So now that we have our four sugars, I'm gonna show you how to cut the tamarind jelly candy. First, you're gonna take the sides of your aluminum foil and pull them up and see if it unmolds. Good. Now I have my parchment paper and I'm gonna put it on top. Now, the big reveal, sort of. We're gonna flip this guy and put it on our cutting board. One, two, three. Ta-da! We have aluminum foil! Just kidding. And now we have our tamarind jelly candy, beautifully unmolded. It's going to be cut so wonderfully. And I'm gonna show you one last technique that is gonna blow your minds. So this is a trick that I like to use. You don't have to use it, or you can use cooking spray. So you're gonna use a little bit of butter. You're gonna run your knife on it as if you were sharpening your knife a little. That's gonna help the jelly candy not stick to your knife. So now that you have all your things prepared, you're gonna start cutting your jelly candy. I like to trim the sides first. And all of this is still edible, but I like to have a really nice clean edge. Then you cut your square. And there you have it. So now that you have your perfect little shapes, I'm gonna show you how to do one more shape that I think is the best shape on planet Earth. So you're gonna need a round piping tip and you're gonna use it to cut down a circle and when you go down, you're gonna use it and cut down like this to make a little moon shape. Cause I think these taste much better when they're shaped like little moons. So now I have cut all of my tamarind jelly candy and I'm going to roll it in my very diverse group of sugar. We have round shapes, crescent moon shapes, squares, and it's just gonna be so much fun to eat. So here we go. You're gonna roll it, and don't worry if there's clumps. You just keep rolling until it's covered completely. Rolling it in different kinds of sugar gives it this fun candy look. It just feels like candy. It's gonna taste like candy. It's just gonna be awesome. Now we're gonna coat our crescent moon in our sweet and sour sugar. And last but not least, we're gonna coat our square one in our mango sugar. And now we've finished coating all of our gummy candies and I can't wait to take a bite. So this is the moment that we've all been waiting for. I'm excited because I get to eat candy. It smells like mango, there's tamarind, it's trappy vibes. I'm just so excited. It reminds me of my abuela, Mama Paulina. Mmm. It's the best candy I've ever made. It's sweet and sour. The mango is just so vibrant. The tamarind, I can't stop salivating. It's just so good. I can't help myself. 
I'm gonna keep eating this and I might become a kid again.